U.S. Navy and Marine Corps, along with Pacific allies such as Japan and South Korea, now operate hundreds of sea-launched F-35Bs and F-35Cs. The arrival of China's first carrier-launched fifth-generation stealth jet, the J-35, marks a significant step forward in the People's Liberation Army's attempt to close its air power deficit with the United States. China's J-35 finally gives the PLA a carrier-borne stealth fighter, it's quick and rangy. China's new J-35 carrier-based stealth fighter marks a significant step in closing its air power deficit with the US, which has a decade-long head start with the F-35. Available specs claim the J-35 can reach Mach 1.8, a speed slightly faster than the F-35. It also has a combat radius of 785 nautical miles, according to an interesting write-up in Defense Security Asia roughly equivalent to the F-35B and F-35C, which each operate with overall ranges greater than 1,200 miles. China's J-35 finally gives the PLA a carrier-borne stealth fighter, on paper it's quick and rangy. Then China would become only the second country in the world to induct two stealth fighter jets, the J-20 Mighty Dragon and the J-35A, and to induct a carrier-capable variant of a stealth aircraft, the J-35. The integration of J-35 on Chinese aircraft carriers will be a significant boost to the capabilities of the PLA Navy in the Pacific theater, where China is embroiled in territorial disputes with multiple countries. The U.S. has enjoyed a jumpstart of at least a decade in deploying an operational carrier-launched fifth-generation stealth fighter, but China is well known for its civil-military fusion and its ability to rapidly mass-produce new platforms. It showed how quickly it can catch up to the J-20, as the PLA has more than doubled the size of its mighty dragon force over the last several years. The PLA Air Force now operates as many as 300 J-20 Mighty Dragon stealth fighters. But these aircraft are land-launched and less equipped to sustain combat in a maritime environment, particularly beyond the first island chain. The United States, by contrast, operates aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships in the Pacific that can transport and launch hundreds of F-35s in the event of a major war a foundational tool of power projection. The carriers can position themselves strategically at sea to optimize attack options and increase survivability. Any U.S. allied force would operate with a fleet of aircraft that offers long-range, significant dwell time, and fifth-generation sensing and targeting capabilities. However, if China quickly manufactures meaningful numbers of carrier-launched J-35s, it could considerably shrink this power projection gap. Available specs claim the J-35 can reach Mach 1.8, a speed slightly faster than the F-35. The Fujian launches the J-35's stealth fighter via electromagnetic catapult. On the afternoon of November 5, China's top leader Xi Jinping held a commissioning and flight presentation ceremony for China's third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, at Sanya Naval Port in Hainan, officially marking the beginning of China's three aircraft carrier era. The Fujian, bearing the hull number 18, is China's first aircraft carrier equipped with an electromagnetic catapult MOL system. By using a medium-voltage direct current architecture, Fujian has successfully demonstrated a path for conventionally powered carriers to operate in MOLs. The USS Gerald or Ford aircraft carrier continues to experience issues with its MOLs. Amid these ongoing challenges, U.S. President Donald Trump reportedly suggested that the military consider returning to traditional steam catapults. Meanwhile, the Chinese carrier Fujian has emerged as one of the world's most technologically advanced carriers. In a world-first achievement during sea trials in September 2025, it successfully launched a fifth-generation stealth fighter, the J-35, using MOLs. The Fujian is also the world's first conventionally powered carrier equipped with an MOLs, which requires a robust and reliable power supply. In contrast, the U.S. Ford-class carriers, despite having abundant nuclear power, have faced a high failure rate with their MOLs, linked to complex sea-based motors and delicate wiring. As a result, no Ford-class carrier is publicly documented as being fully certified for sustained F-35C operations at sea. By using a medium-voltage direct current DC architecture, Fujian has successfully demonstrated a path for conventionally powered carriers to operate in MOLs. 
The Fujian is also the first carrier in the world capable of launching fifth-generation fighter jets using the EMALS. In September this year, state media released videos of the Fujian successfully launching the J-15T, the fifth-generation fighter J-35 and the KJ-600 surveillance aircraft, demonstrating the good compatibility between China's independently developed electromagnetic catapult and arrestor systems with a variety of carrier-based aircraft. This lays a solid foundation for integrating other carrier-based aircraft, including drones, into the carrier strike group system. China's J-35 finally gives the PLA a carrier-borne stealth fighter, the impressive J-35, it's quick and rangy. Available specs claim the J-35 can reach Mach 1.8, a speed slightly faster than the F-35. After reportedly operationalizing its second land-based stealth fighter jet, the J-35A, China may soon induct its carrier-based variant, the J-35, into service, the J-35 is widely expected to become the main fighter jet on China's latest and most advanced aircraft carrier, the Fujian, which is also China's first carrier featuring electromagnetic catapults. The J-35s are either already in service or are scheduled to enter service very soon. The J-35A was unveiled to the world for the first time during the Zhuhai Air Show in November last year. Earlier this month, during a telecast by the state broadcaster CCTV, which showed the J-15T at its production facility, at least two Green Prime J-35 airframes were also visible in the background. The green primer layer is a coating applied during the aircraft manufacturing process, before the aircraft receives its final paint. Those images were further proof that the J-35 has entered production. The integration of J-35 on Chinese aircraft carriers will be a significant boost to the capabilities of the PLA Navy in the Pacific theater, where China is embroiled in territorial disputes with multiple countries.